Look out. Look out here. What, what just happened? Well, how am you cookie? And this is bear. Bear. Hi, YouTube. Turn around, we'll see bear. There's bear. <laughs> Mr. Full Auto, AK-47, extra service. And, and uh, Ranger Kuki, we're out here at Fountain Blue State Park. I'm being a host. I'm showing the bear the, 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 the works. So here you go. Let's take a pop around, around, whatever you want to say it. And uh, look at these beautiful. We go look at all these big oak trees. Let's take go slow, Ranger. Everybody wants to see the oak trees. We'll make them sick this time. Yeah, make I'm always. Oh, don't forget to take your seat, sea seat pills. Yeah. There you go. That way you don't have to see a big red car. All right. See you in a few. Well, I brought Mr. Bear to the lake point point of the uh, Lake Punch Train and Fountain Blue State Park, and he's enjoying himself out here. So we we're ready to head into the woods and we'll walk the plank over here. Oh, maybe Yeah, maybe we catch a gator or two making yeah, bubbles. I'm walking the plank. Am I gonna get a peg leg too? <laughs> I like having two legs. I wish I had a leg. Alright, I'll read you kick it. No, it's gonna be a two weeks. That's just the way it is. I'm ready to take bear into the mystic forest. And he might not return. But before we go that way, I want to show you the board. The mystic forest. It's so mystic. Would he come out alive? Or would he become tree bait or tree food for the trees that's out here? Let's take a look at the board. This is what he has to worry about. Poor bear. I don't have Scar. Poor Scar. He misses me already. And this, this is where we at. In Fountain Blue State Park. And we're ready to take this trail here. It's like a hundred miles. You know, a hundred miles. That's the gator he has to worry about. You worried about gators? They're going to eat him? <laughs> Bear, we thought your claws would protect us, brother. Looks dangerous around here. Well, that makes it exciting. Look at this. He's so happy to see you. Look at him. Uh, he's happy he's getting lunch. <laughs> Your leg. <laughs> we can call you Stumpy. Let's look at this beautiful uh, fountain blue park here. I don't know. I, I looked up and it wasn't recording, so I missed some stuff. So whatever. That's it. That's it. Now we are walking across this bridge, and when we cross this bridge, the park officials will not help us at all. If we die, no help. If we get stuck, we need no help from the park officials. Poor bear. No man's land. Basically. I'm letting you go first, so you lose your leg first, and I run the other way. <laughs> you first. Oh, I'm getting scared. <laughs> the horse the horse flies is gonna be the worst problem here. Wow. It's like a whole nother world out here. I know. It's smaller. Yeah. It's smaller. It's like big, small, big, small. You see the difference later. Alright, come follow us and let y'all enjoy the us us yakking and destroy the uh, walk with us. Come along with us. Just don't die. Yeah, show you some um, pictures of stuff. This is the wax myrtle that Indians used to use to make candles. Psych. <laughs> Nothing. Mark what you want. Uh, I, 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 I'm hoping the horse flies attack the camera. The camera's full of horse flies. They got one, two, three of them suckers just flying around the camera. I'm glad they're on the camera, not my head. <laughs> I brought bug spray. Well, maybe I should have brought a hat. 
afraid you don't have no hat. Yes, I do. <laughs> I just didn't bring it because I think it's going to be hot today and I don't want to burn sweat. I hope we're not going too fast for y'all. I only have a problem when a horse fly flies into my eyeball or my ears. Now we ready to go on a scary bridge. <laughs> Bear has a scary bridge too. You need to go check out Mr. Full Auto AK-47 to check out his scary bridge. Look at that. All right, here you go, YouTubers. Do you have any oak trees to have all that stuff hanging off of it? Make a video of it and let me and link that link to this link. I want to see if you got oak trees that have that that fuzzy stuff. Next time, put a hat on. And bug vision. Ah, y'all saw this oak tree many times in many of my videos from Fountain Blue State Park. Okay, I, I took about 20 feet to go up there. Just to show you the scale, how big this is. Bear's going to stand over there real quick. And uh, you show you the scale of this tree. Oh, there you go. That's the scale of that tree. I, that is a... God damn. You didn't realize how thick it is. That's a thick ass tree. <laughs> yeah. And he survived a couple of hurricanes, even Hurricane Katrina, or she. Yeah. She's leaning. I hate to see her fall. Boy, that that fall in your house, that tear your house apart. Look how thick that thing is up there. Jesus crickets. I wish I could see some of my old videos and see if it got bigger over time. Now here comes the scary bridge. <laughs> the scary bridge. This is called the Sugar Mill Trailhead. And this is Bayou Cane Hiking Trail. Uh, this is the sh wait a minute, it can't be the sugar mill twice. And this is the alligator marsh boardwalk. That's the scary trail or scary bridge. And we ready to go on it. Hey, is this eatable? You get first taste test. If you die, I don't want it. Yeah. Mm. There's the scary bridge. Too bad Scary Terry's not here. Waterfowl. 
I don't know if you can read all that blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Look at all the quackers we got. You eat? If I'm not mistaken, I took, I made a live video here, I think. I'm not sure. Let's do a camera power around around. Ready? Let's see. Make sure you're on. Oh, that's alligator. All right, we got an alligator making barking noises. We will see if we can see him. Usually pop up, up on the water and make that roar noise. We are here, we are literally here in the Or is there a frog? We got a growl in both directions. Be careful, Ray. That's not Ranger snoring, that's a gator. I'm gonna turn it around so you can hear it. The mic is better when it's facing. Look, there's a quacker. Okay, we'll you turn you around so you can see the view. The mic's in the back. You can't hear from the front. All kinds of creatures out here. You can hear them making all kinds of noises. That's some good quick sand or quick mud. There's no such thing as quicksand. I never heard anybody get killed by it, but there's quick mud. You were sinking the mud, but you could float in this. Look at Gar! Look at that big old Gar right there. Yeah, it's camel. Too bad I don't have a bow. He's coming to the Sound like the alligators are quiet now, they hear us. No, this is not a zoo. You can't pet these guys or <laughs> you pet these guys, they're gonna take your arm off and eat it for lunch. Look at that garfish, he's on top of the water right there. We got an alligator over here, and there's another one somewhere over here. They just grotting. Listen to them. Sound like he's snoring.
well, I hope you all enjoy this one part of this little swampy area. I wish we can go to that. Well, we there, there's a a gate it closes off and you can't go by, and I'm pissed at Fountain Blue because you used to go to that pier thing there, but the hurricane took a lot of wood from this and it just replaced this about a year ago well the last video you've seen with me here the back scenes of the bear how does he does it and now the world can see bear bear is alligator hunting yeah very, very early bear is out in the swamp hunting alligators. We just want to see him and pat him. Ranger says we shouldn't pat him. We have no thumbs. We will come back without him. No, I said it. Bear is in alligator land. And this is not the zoo. This is the real deal. You don't pet these. You're not trained alligator. They're out there and they're grunting. Cool, bear. They're kind of camel just like you, bear. And that's what makes them awesome. You know, bears always smiling. So if you fell in and an alligator ate you, he will always keep on smiling. He'd make a necklace out of your bones and wear it for life. Bush scraped. <laughs> okay, let's come along with us the rest of the trip. <laughs> Yes, the Hurricane Katrina took a lot of these boards out, and this was just replaced maybe maybe three or four years ago. But it, they replaced it. But they made you stop there. Hey Amen. It went all the way over there. Maybe an alligator would try to jump up here and eat us. They call it the minnows. They jump because they feel vibrations. What the hell is that? That would eat us alive, maybe. I don't know. What the hell is that? This is the wildlife in its finest. Let's crap right on the frickin' deck. That's crawfish and some other bird droppings here. Hey, a lot of crawfish today. Mmm. I bet you that's tasty. And there is this grass is an alligator sea monster that would be happy to eat you. And some weird duckling things that might pluck your eyes out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this is the end of the trail. You can hear like an echo. Whoops. What the hell says you go, girl? <laughs> well, we're going to take a little break. If you don't know what that means, use that. I'm going to leave a puddle over here. <laughs> I'm back. There's an R there. Look at the misty morning that's out here. I hope y'all enjoy the cricket sounds that's, well, I'm over blasting. There's your eyes. Man, 
imagine you putting your hand right here and something just <laughs> oh man you gotta have fun when you come out here if you don't you just might as well just going out in the woods is to have fun if you got a, 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 an attitude come out here and visit some woods stop being depressed get out get you some woods and there's our uh, crawfish patties. I wonder if you can re-eat that. What y'all think, tubers? Can you re-eat that? Mm -mm. I don't know anything. Oh, oh God, it's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one got me down. Chewy. Yeah, at least... <laughs> Chewy and delicious. You hear the birdies? Yeah. yeah, I'm really tired. I just got off of work, went home, took a shower, woke up my friend Bear, and we're out here in Fountain Blue State Park. Just did a 12 hour shift. I used to do this at school. Pull it like that. And do it again. Watch this. This is what we used to do in school. Damn it. Let's do it again. Watch this. Then you go up to somebody, watch it, and you say, this is what we used to do in school. And you say, and you do that, and you say, you want a flower? You want a flower? And they say yes, and you just go, Psh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, it didn't hurt. Oh. Much. Much. <laughs> That's how you used to do that in school. You just make a little flower thing. Go like that. And you make a little flower and you throw it at people. We used to do stupid things when we was evil babies. Don't forget, if you got oak trees with that mossy stuff, make a video of it. All right, now we're back on the, uh, the sawmill trail.
I'm waiting for somebody to say, why you got all that gear? You ever heard about that old lady that walked through the woods in the Avalanche Trail? She didn't make it out because she didn't have the proper gear. Knowing is uh, better than not knowing. Let me tell you a story about the woman at the Avalanche Trail. She was taking small trips in the Avalanche Trail and she had to use the bathroom. So she walked into the woods a few feet, used the restroom, and she lost her way. Three years later, they found her remains. And so all she had to do is maybe tie a piece of string or something to an air item to let her know which way to go to get back to the trail. Because once you go in that woods a few feet to use the bathroom, you can you lose the trail because you can't see this trail while you're in the woods. It can come visible. So if you want to watch a video about what you can use or carry, go watch. I forgot what it says, but I made a video about it. The items that you could use to use the bathroom while peeing in the woods while dying. Go check out that video. You might learn something. Or you might laugh and die. You didn't have to go in the woods. I got like shitload of... And bear. He's going slow. He's looking for berries. He's looking for berries to eat. There you go. That's a beautiful morning. Yeah, so the the lady died. She uh, and when they found her body, she she had a few types on her phone. She was typing how she she's gonna miss her family, and in her bag she only had like a bottle of water, a piece of thread, and some other stuff that she couldn't use to survive with. And three years later, they found her remains. Because she went off to pee while having proper gear to make sure she finds her trail again. That's a big friggin' horse fly. Don't land on me. Go land on bear. <laughs> we need more dragonflies. Let's catch some of these horse flies. See, over time, uh, during Hurricane Katrina, they came and took out every pine tree out here. And the, 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 the branches are real low. This was all tall. I mean, this small little freaking low branches. But over time, it's rise and, and killed all the small vegetation at the bottom. And it's getting better over the years as the trees are growing. And it's taking out all the shrubs out. And it's making it look better like it used to be back in before the hurricane hit. I used to come out here a lot. <laughs> That's what my other friend says. Well, if you go first, if you die, well,
Let me know if I'm going too fast moving the camera so y'all can't see stuff. I know I do, I do a lot of walking real quick and I, I try not to jerk the camera around too much. I try to do it slower. So if you, you got a problem, just let me know. Or I try to slow it down. You know how I am. I get very emotions. <coughs> it took me 20 years to get slow. <coughs> Another thing when you go out in the woods and you got a hiking friend and you got to go, make sure he stands on the trail. Don't let him go keep going. Tell somebody, look, I'm going to use the bathroom over there. Can you stay on the trail and say polo, Marco, polo. And that's a couple of things you could do. Marco. Polio. See, polio. Now I know where to go. So I hope a couple of my tips will help y'all venture into the woods without dying. Because dying of thirst is, I think, is a horrible way of dying. The bears will come lick your feet while you're dying and waiting for you to die. And the snuggards will pick your eyeballs out because that's a snack for them. So don't be, don't be a bear snack or snuggards. And they pluck your eyes out. And this is Louisiana, so anything passes away out here in the woods, it's bones in about a week. You'd be torn to pieces by other critters, and you probably only remains of bone fabrics to be here, there, there, everywhere. Damn, look at this. This is a trail. Looks like an alligator trail or something. Look at all the tearing apart. That's a swine thing. What's. Let's follow this trail. It says make sure you stay on the path. Oh, I'm, I'm breaking the rules. I want to die. Bear's not following me because he's scared. Look, it's a bird bath thing. Look. I don't want to mess around. We might have some birdies in there. What's time out here? Birdies in there. That's a birdhouse. I don't know what's on here. All right, YouTubers, let me know what's inside of that box. It's a snake house. It's a snake house. Where do you think it's a birdhouse? Well, I think it's a snake house. It could be. Can we put our hands in there and pat them? Yeah, let's pet the snake. <laughs> put my hand in there. Ah! So a little detour to see uh, different items. The uh, Wildlife Management Park put a little bird house there. Look at the pretty spider web. Look, it's a banana spider. It's a baby. Let's poke it. Look at the, look at the fine web this baby made. And it looks like she didn't go no further than the bottom. That's nice, beautiful. You keep, there you go. Put a horse fly in there. Eat it or die. And look over here. There's some weird walking stick thing. Oh, that looks like a mosquito hawk. Can anybody tell me what kind of bug this is? I, I say it's a mosquito hawk. It eats mosquitoes. That big thing. It looks like a male mosquito, but it's really a mosquito hawk. Let me know if anybody knows what that is. And why you didn't eat your bug I threw in there? Eat your bug. Oh well. I killed the bug. It didn't want to move no more. And I teach that horse fly to bite me. <laughs> now Bear's gonna make his video. Yeah. 
I'm going to go play with him. Uh, it's a spider web. I got plenty of food for him now. We got one, two, three, four horseflies that want to bite me. So now the spiders are gonna bite the horseflies that bit me. Bastards. <laughs> Payback's a bitch. Now he's gonna inject you with his venom and melt your insides. What a horrible death. Man, imagine spiders are big as humans. God, would that be horrible? Then you fall fall into a nest of them. You and your kids. Oh, oh, oh are you going to hear your, your kids scream until they get paralyzed by the bite? Poor evil babies. Damn, freaking <laughs> horse flies. Bear just made a video of him walking in fountain blue. Well, if y'all want to go, go. Well, I'm Ranger Kiki, and this is Mr. Full Auto AK 47 and this. I'm having biscotti and Marie. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're having spaghetti and FEMA pop tarts. I don't know if I'm gonna use my uh, heating thing. I might eat it cold too. But uh, here goes. I might die of a uh, toenail poison. There you go. Let's see how this looks. Hope no bees are stingers. They'd love the bees underneath these nests. Alright. Okay. There you go. We're having the same thing, so you don't have to look at his eater, but that, that's for spaghetti. Okay. Mm. See y'all next time. Uh, this, this is a small video of canteen cook or MRE.